Hey, what's going on guys? Indy here with Ultimate 2 Review. Check out a new flashlight today. And uh, by the way, I'm working on doing a larger video with a lot of the flashlights I've compared over the last couple of years. Um, I want to kind of show you guys my favorites and kind of what makes them my favorite. Uh, of course, with flashlights, so it can be tricky to really compare them apples to apples because every flashlight is so different and also differently designed, which you know really wants to do. Uh, but this is the Borut. I think that's how you say it. Borut. Uh, this is the all-new U6 little small flashlight here. Uh, comes in right under 50 bucks, and um, this is going to be kind of a little interesting, you know, I guess tactical utility. There's a lot of different names and designs for these flashlights that really become interesting. Uh, 1600 lumens, and it's claiming to be IP68 for its waterproof. We're going to test that actually, and then shock resistant. Also going to test that too. Um, magnetic suction <laughs> i don't think it's actually going to be magnetic suction kind of two different uh things there uh dual use clip three color illumination and i actually put the sticker over the okay well we'll get to that in a bit here because i probably gotta look at the owner's manual there but 78 grams is the net weight and uh it looks like some type of aluminum alloy plus abs um we did the side light so let's check that out here i think that spec sheet should be in the user manual here somewhere yeah, right here. Awesome. So we got a couple of modes here. White, warm, red, a red flash. Economic mode. I guess it's like a nighttime mode there, you could say. Got a low, medium, high turbo mode here. And of course, we have the lumen ratings on these. It's pretty wild how, like, you know, these lumen ratings really bump up, you know, in size here. You know, we go from, like, 10 lumens, 20 lumens, 160 bam, 10, it's 10x to turbo mode, which is pretty wild there. Um, and of course, if you were running these flashlights that you can buy on Amazon, these really higher ones, um, you know when you hit the turbo mode, you get like almost no runtime. Um, that's why I like running a lot of these flashlights in like a low, but even economic to low is huge. I mean, if you're lost somewhere like in the forest, and of course you wanted a flashlight that would get you out, it took you like a full day to do it, you gotta run that on economic, because low would be 10 hours. That would last you, you know, like maybe one or two nights, being what you use it though. That's something interesting to think about when you actually look at these uh, flashlights here. So, of course, the three colors are going to be white, warm, and red. That's not too uh, not too crazy there. Um, you know, warm is just going to be... It, it depends on where you are. You know, if you're hiking through the snow, you're going to want a warm light. If you're uh, hiking through, say, like a clear, warm forest, you're probably going to want a white light to better see colors. So it kind of depends on what you're trying to really do there. Um, first thing I always like to judge in these flashlights is the overall feel of these things. Uh, you can feel a cheap flashlight from a not-so-cheap flashlight, <laughs> the more expensive ones, really, really quick. Uh, definitely feels aluminum, does not feel like plastic to me at all here. And a lot of times they like to use the aluminum near the LEDs as kind of like a cooling method there, which is super common. Uh, we get a little side flashlight here for, of course, doing things like, you know, signaling. You can put this on your bike, on your person. And um, as you're hiking along, you know, that thing flash red, what kind of what's designed to do, which is a cool little thing. Um, got a magnetic here. We'll just make, yeah, there we go. A little magnetic attachment here. That's pretty sweet. Feels pretty decently strong, not like super strong, but decently strong there. And one thing um, I will say, some brands who I won't name, um, they kind of have this really cool, you know, uh, way to turn the flashlight on that can be kind of confusing. Uh, if you've seen some of my reviews, you kind of know which ones I'm talking about, uh, but this is great. You know, here's my power button, and uh, here's my other button here. So, bam, here we go. Super easy. That's going to be my warm, of course. Let's see here. Do I have a white over here? That is, that is a really dark red there. That's pretty cool. Flash. There we go. There's my white. So I got white, warm, and red all on the side there. Let's see here. Of course, I did not read the manual before doing this, but I like to see how easy is it for someone to just pick this up and go. There we go. So you hold down, after you turn it on, you click the three buttons, then you hold down power. That takes you to the main here. And I would assume that clicking this would give me my brightness modes. This is probably high here. Oh, that's high there. I don't get economic, low, medium, high. And then usually turbo mode is a double click there so yeah that is going to be your turbo mode right there your full 1600 lumens 
Yeah, I'm getting a little bit of like a ring out of this. I can hear this very so slightly, this ringing. And in turbo mode, man, you can you can feel the heat coming off that thing already. <laughs> that is pretty quick. But, you know, it does say hot on there. So, of course, that is going to be something to be aware of. I was thinking turbo mode for like 10 minutes. Yeah, it's going to get pretty toasty pretty quick there, nice and quick. So, guys, what we're going to do now is I want to test this thing out with some waterproof. See how good this thing holds, it holds you know, water. And, of course, we're going to just throw this thing around and see how it does. Um, this lame shock resistance. Is there any shock resistant rating on here that I can see? IP68, which is a, you know, that's a pretty, uh, pretty bold rating, honestly. That's that's like one of the highest you can get to, not the highest, but pretty close. And uh, let's see, it does say shock resistant, but it's not gonna be like, you know, like, hey, drop proof up to 20 feet. So we're gonna test this thing. I'm just gonna whip this thing on the field and see how it does. <laughs> that's kind of the best way to test it. Um, I, I always like, you know, like Project Farms testing and stuff. It's very, you know, like exact. Um, I, I don't know. I, I kind of like how he does it when you compare tons of stuff against each other. But at the same time, I want to keep it very real world. Like you're going to drop this thing in your pocket, staying on the ladder. You know, let's just whip this thing out there. And really, I'd like to give you guys the worst case scenario possible when I test this stuff and just see how well it holds up. So let's listen to the bottom of the pool here. And uh, let's do some tests on this thing and see how well this thing really holds up. And uh, really curious to see how this thing does. Um, actually, is this the USB here? Okay, that's interesting. Usually those are much better covered than that. But, and again, this thing won't, probably won't catch here too easily. You kind of got to be more, um, more purposely trying to get this out. And there we go. You know what? Yeah, it is a little sticking up here. That might catch eventually over time. But, oh, let's go outside and test this thing out. All right, I got the red flashing on there. That way you can easily tell. Let's find out. IP68. I think it's still flashing in there. Let me get this thing out of here. Yep, still flashing away there. Of course, with IP68 rating, this is no problem. You should be able to put this thing at least, you know, 20 feet underwater. Shouldn't really give you much of an issue at all. And uh, you can see that thing's still flashing under the water there. Let's uh, let this thing on the field here and test that shock rating. Um, I'd like to see testing the shock rating uh, even up on the concrete a little bit. So let's give that a shot. I'm going to leave the thing just flashing. That's how we'll know. Hey, does this thing still work? Does it not still work? And uh, that is going to be our telltale sign there. All right, so good my throw is. I'm going to try to hit the tree there. Let's find out. Oh, there we go. <laughs> And wow, yeah, check this out. Zero damage, first throw there. That's a pretty realistic, you know, just whip this thing at something and see how shock resistant it is. Of course, when you get this aluminum like this and ABS plastic put together, it's usually a pretty solid combo here. Let's do it a couple more times, and I'm going to smack it on the concrete, and that'll be the testing. Still flashing there. That was a pretty good hit there. That was me purposely just throwing it at the concrete. And uh, let's see here. Yeah, it's still functioning. That was a pretty solid hit. Looks like it hit right up here. You can see a little bit of the scuffs in that front little metal there. But yeah, works just fine. All right, guys. So this thing held up pretty decent. Um, I should say pretty decent. It did a pretty good job, actually. Threw this to the bottom of the pool a couple times. Uh, threw it against a tree a number of times. Hit the concrete at least twice with this thing. So this thing held up pretty good. You can see very minimum just scratches on there. Of course, that's to be expected there. But guys, thanks for watching. You want to check out the actual product. I'll leave a link to it on Amazon. Um, and a uh, pretty decent deal, honestly, for what this thing can do. I was pretty sure this thing would break when I hit the concrete with it. You know, it's, it's one of those things that's like, is it really shock resistant? But uh, this thing held up great. I'm really impressed by this thing. I uh, like kind of a cool black and white color scheme on there. And uh, thanks again for uh, Baruch for sending this, this thing over to me for uh, testing. So, guys, thanks for watching. Take care. Have a great day. And stay safe out there.